Hello everyone, welcome to Randy Computers Academy. Today we will discuss about the designing a learning system. It is very very important topic students in machine learning should prepare and write well exams. In our channel we will discuss the Python programming, machine learning, cloud computing, cyber security and artificial intelligence and next is the C programming. All those playlist link I will send in description. You can follow it and prepare well and write well exams. Now we will see designing a learning system in any semester exams you should remember that write point wise and don't write in paragraph if you are writing point wise the examiner will get good impression on your booklet and they will give good marks now you will see designing a learning system designing the learning system means if you are for good result or for good output designing steps are very very important now we will see what are the steps are there. Designing the training experience and next is the choosing the choosing the training experience, choosing the target function, choosing a representation for the target function, choosing a function approximation algorithm. Here we will have the four steps to design good result or good output. Here training experience means example for this training experience. We have discussed in well post training algorithm. There we will have the training experience. It is denoted with the E. There task T to particular task. And next is the performance T. What is the performance of the task? That task. And next is experience E. Playing checkers. Here playing checkers is the one of the example for the training experience. How it will have the task T is there. Task T, task is our playing checkers, performance T, for that we have to um, game, play the, that game and you can um, gain the checkers. Next is experience C, improve our um, game skills. Next one is choosing the target function. Each step is depends upon before step only. This process here, target function, target function is depends on the training experience. And representation for the target function means here f of x with black chains and f of f function and f of uh, y function and f of z function. We have represent the specific functions here. Target functions. This is depends on the target function. And next step is function using function approximation algorithm. This is for to get good output performance. Here this step also depends on this representation for the target function. 